now in this part i'll be creating this uh, section which is called place where i have visited so let's jump into the elementor editor right now before jumping copy the text from here and see what kind of uh, typography is using 24 uh, 42 pixel montserrat semi bold close this one create another section add heading h2 and it perfect it looks like there is a border bottom which is here so let's add border go to widget area and search here divider or border you can type border or divider now drag the divider change it to okay i'm going to use solid and change it to pixel and use i think 100 pixel or 150 pixel is enough let's use 150 pixel change the border color to, to theme color and the weight should be 5 and reduce the gap here so now it looks perfect if i take a look at the design again and there is three column with title subheading paragraph and some text here let's create this section okay so i would like to use inner section and for this copy the element of widget area and copy or drag the inner section under this border close this one duplicate this one if you take a look at the image so the image is using as a background image we can use this one as background image as well copy the text here and select this column style background type choose image and upload all the images that comes with okay so i have i have to select all the images from here one two three four five six upload them the first one is eiffel tower so i just uh, type a name and position change it to center no repeat cover well now i have to add title here so when i add any text here it will increasing the size after that uh, we will be adding a fixed size here after finalize the title and other text here so paste the text here change the h4 and this one should h3 or change it to h4 to let's have a look how it works okay so i will change it later copy the paragraph text from here go to widget text editor just drag it at the bottom of the secondary title paste the paragraph text here and now the last uh, which is uh, read more now copy the read more button that i have created here it's not globally created now everything looks like this so that's not good enough right now i have to fix them i have to configure them to show you exactly and perfectly looks like the one that are using here so let's take a look what kind of uh, font and other settings i'm using right now here so here if i using if i want to use uh, 36 pixel let's take a look at the customizer go to the typography and scroll down here you can see h3 so it's 36 pixel and for the font weight should semi bold i think it's semi bold yes now the font size is perfect and fonts uh, weight should be semi bold click on publish now we can use h3 here change it to h3 click update and reload the page it will apply the h3 uh, typography automatically because i have selected from it global now as you can see it's displaying here perfectly now let's change the color 
to white color here let's change secondary heading to white change the paragraph to white color even now change the read more color it's not a background color i'm sorry it should change the text color here and make the background color transparent change the text color white now if i click on column here go to style there is no options to make a column fixed height but there is another option that you can use which is spacing so a spacer will allow you to add some blank space at the top and bottom on your website now as you can see after adding a spacing it looks like this so there are some other things that i have to change it and i have to make it looks good so let's add some padding here 20 pixel i think it's not enough uh, i should make 25 or 30 pixel padding and make this text a uh, weight which is 700 pixel and margin top minus something that should looks good here and let's take a look at other text here everything seems to be looks great 220 pixel now it looks perfect uh, it looks way perfect than the uh, normal one so if i add some border radius here from style the 20 percent border radius or 20 pixel border radius looks perfect right now now just copy this same style again and again and delete the previous style from here or uh, the previous column basically and click here select this one so add some margin remove this from here and at the right side add some margin 10 pixel again select this one add some margin 10 pixel left and right 10 pixel again select this one add some margin left i'm sorry remove this one left 10 10 pixel right 10 pixel and this one should have left margin also well so as you can see it looks perfect now now i have to change the background image and text from this column area now click on the column style and change the background image let's take a look which is here the second one is this one colosum colosium well and change it to this one there is a little bit uh, overlay which is a little bit black or darker shadow we can upload it here as well mm, it's i'm not sure which one sydney okay opera house and should text well so it looks like this and uh if you take a look closely here you can see um there is some uh breakdown here so which not looks good now i think i should change the heading size h3 a little bit lower to make it nicer on my website so i i'd like to change it from here let's change it to 30 pixel click publish go to elementor click update and reload the page to see whether it's the 30 pixel is perfect or not uh the 30 pixel is not perfect it's still break down the line let's inspect here and change the size from here to see whether it's let's change it to 30 pixel uh, font size 30 pixel and reduce well 
uh, I think 26 pixel looks good so let's change it to 26 pixel from here click publish and reload the page again well uh, 26 pixel uh, is working perfectly here now you can add overlay here I think you already know how to add overlay I'm going to reload this page now simply uh, also uh, the subheading you should change the subheading also it should row and the second one the third one sorry it should sydney and if you want to add overlay color you can simply choose the column click style go to background overlay and choose the color you can add gradient color as well so let's if you want to add gradient color here let's choose the color i would like to use black color here at this moment and the red color should be black now make it a little bit lighter and the bottom should display black so that the text and read more is visible here now you can do the same here you can go to here change it to black change it to black here okay so what kind of mistake i have made here did you notice that i think you some of you have uh, might notice that and and the, some of you have didn't even notice this what kind of issue is happening here well so i should add this background type inside the background overlay i have added this inside the background that's why it looks completely dark so i have to remove this one from here i'd like to use classic go to background overlay and change it from here well and change it this color to completely transparent now as you can see it looks way much better than the previous one change it the sec third one here black and simply change it to this one also black remove the color so it looks perfect now click on update close the window it looks better now i'm going to copy and i'm going to just duplicate this one here add some margin top unlink the here i would like to only add top 20 pixel now as you can see i have completed this section successfully and the rest the rest of the thing is i have to adjust the margin and padding for this section the bottom i should add some padding here and the top spacing is good if i take a look here the top looks good and i have to add a button here after that some spacing at the bottom area now let's add some margin at the bottom i think i would say 60 pixel is enough at this moment not enough i think 120 pixel looks perfect and add a button here center add some margin top 50 change the button text to load more you can make it large button so it will not going to work because i have added this button uh, settings from astra customizer settings so that's why it's not going to reflect the size from here now i'm going to change the icon let's type loading or round well so i have to find the icon from here i couldn't remember that the name uh, what is the name i would like to search this icon do you know the name of this icon if you know please uh, comments below 
and uh, let me find out here whether it's available or not inside the Elementor. Let's take a look. <laughs> Something like that, this one, we could use this one. Just select this one so that if we, we didn't see that one, then I'll be using that selected one. Let's scroll down. no 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 there is another one which is called history but there is a little watch icon inside the history icon my bad i think it's not available here i haven't used that uh, yet uh, i think somewhere it's available yes it's uh, redo okay so that's the button here and it's uh, inside the elementor change it to right uh, after here change it the position well so now the button is available with the uh, desired icon here now let's change bottom little bit slower 90 pixel would be perfect here click on update and reload the page now as you can see everything looks perfect here and the button the hover color we could change the hover color we already know how to change it and simply go to here to change the hover color click on hover change the color to white color or you can change it something else to make a yolo color as well let's change it to yolo yolo looks perfect i think rather than white the yolo looks great so you can change all of them from here one by one so that's the problem when uh, you haven't used the global button uh, inside the global button uh, you cannot make this uh, inside the free astro version so you have to use elementor at this moment hopefully astra will uh, include this kind of features in the future and yes i, I hope uh, they're improving uh, day by day and hopefully there will be a lot more features uh, we'll be receiving from them so that's all and click on update and i hope this video will be very helpful for you to understand uh, how to design this kind of sections using elementor Thanks for watching. In the next part, I'll be showing you how you can create this awesome call to action area on your website.